Fraser wasn't traveling with the four vehicle convoy when insurgents detonated a roadside bomb near the village of Gotham. Three targets for the Canadian. Three Afghanis were killed. That is not saw the coordination of all three Taliban. Immediately after the attack, Canadian forces led a heavily armed patrol into Gumbad as a show of force. Control, and it looks like the situation might just have a domino effect in Europe. Well, there is a ripple effect. Uh, you're in essentially the second wave of the world economic depression that began with the U.S. banking crisis in September, October of uh, Where am I go? Why am I so poor? You better start waving your hoover flags around and surrender. Why don't I have no money? What happened? There's the Liberals and their leader, I'm not too sure about, the Conservatives, Stephen Harper, I think. Um, there's the Green Party or something like that. The NDP, there's the NDP, there's, um, what else is there? Conservative Party, Liberal Party, the NDP, the Green Party. Uh, Stephen Harper of the Conservatives, uh, guy with the beard with the NDP, uh, Leighton, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's all I don't know. I don't, Elizabeth I, May is the leader of the Green Party. Elizabeth May, Green Party? I don't care much for government, I'm not gonna lie, because I'm just gonna vote Green Party. I'm gonna try to find out something <laughs> Next question. I don't know. <laughs> well, like, I don't know. Economically speaking, I don't think we're in that much of a downfall right now. There are some countries, obviously, that are. But USA people say they're facing a recession. They say it's going to hit Canada, but I don't think it's hit it yet. I think maybe in a few years, if, it, if the U.S. keeps going the way it has been, yeah, they will. But because Obama is the president, I don't think the U.S. is going to go in the same way, the same direction. I think U.S. is going to pick it up. Also, I think China is going to be the economically the strongest country in like the next 10 years. It's hard to get a job right now. Snap. Drugs. Yeah, I think everyone's in recession, so they're having to lay off a lot of people's jobs, such as GM. And uh, yeah, I think they're making it really hard on a lot of people to uh, really, well, I guess you could say, succeed in life. At least do what they need to do to uphold their family and whatnot. So yeah, it sort of sucks for a lot of people. Mainly in the U.S., Canada's gotten a bit better, but oh well. It's fine because I don't know. Seems the same to me. I get I get everything I got last year, so I don't see the difference. I think Canada should not be involved. I guess they're helping out USA. I think that's the only reason Canada's in it, because they want to seem like they're helpful, like they're peacekeepers, but honestly, I don't think that's keeping peace. That's making war. Well, I think that Canada obviously should send some troops, but I think most of them are dying, which I read in the newspaper, it was like 147 now. It's pretty bad, but I don't know. America should fight their own war, I guess. Shouldn't lean on Canada for stuff like that. We don't really have that much of a military, I'm not gonna lie. Best thing we got is an Air Force, so. It's good, I guess, because they're like helping people. It's bad. And no, it's good. Because they're like, I don't know, protecting Canada. And that's good. Good answer. <laughs>